Hi lovelies. So it's 5 a.m. and I had the stomach flu. And it's well be like that then. <laughs> Whatever. Um I don't know why, but she always like goes and sleeps when I'm over I'm recording. It's like she like is a person and she knows I'm recording so she can go and rest. But whatever. Look. Do to your Nike mom right now. I just wanna go to bed. So Oh my gosh, I need to talk or else everybody's gonna just click off of this and not even watch it. Um, oh what did I wanna talk about? Oh fevers. Wow. I haven't had fevers in such a long time, like legit fevers. And um this is the thing about being chronically ill is that <laughs> I'm so sick all the time that like even when I like get regular sick, I'm like, oh, it's just something like before I like got hardcore sick stomach flu, I like had we were like running around in all of the things. I have a fan running right now. So that's probably super annoying. But I had that and then my dad bought like a big fan because I thought like the air conditioning wasn't working in my room because I kept I woke up like two nights in a row and had to actually change my shirt because I had sweat through it. And I'm not really like a sweaty person. Like I don't really sweat a lot. That's why like I can kind of get away with not showering every day. Um, if I'm not like actively doing stuff. But I was like needing a shower like a couple times a day. And I was like the air conditioning's broken in my room. And like what's going on. And I was like maybe it has something to do with like me getting my teeth fixed. And like I didn't even think for a second that I was having fevers. <laughs> or that I was sick. That's how, like, bad it is when you're chronically ill. Sorry, my voice is, like, gone from throwing up so much. That's, I am, like, I don't even care. I shouldn't even talk, talk about that stuff, but. Oh, well. I have a stomach flu, so I throw up. But, uh, yeah, so I've just been experiencing fevers, and they're so annoying. Like, out of all the things that I have to deal with, being chronically ill and then just being a human being that gets ill on top of that. Fevers are just so annoying. Like, stop. I get it. Like, I get that I'm sick and I'm going to rest and I'm going to take care of myself and I'm going to try to drink water and hydrate. So freaking stop having fevers alerting my body that there's like something wrong with it. I get it. Ugh. So annoying. It's like one second I want like all of these fleeces around me in the covers and I'm moving Bella all around and then two seconds later it's like oh my gosh covers are the devil and like getting rid of all of them and like I want to be free and just like have the air on me. <sighs> it's just so annoying. But I'm recording this because pardon me like I didn't realize that my voice was gone this much because I haven't spoken to another human being. But, um, apparently it is. It is, it is. Uh, the computer saga is still going on. The tooth saga is still going on. I can't get it on until Monday because I had to cancel my appointment because of the stomach flu. And then when my mom called to cancel it, they let us, she, they let her know that the stomach flu is going around my dentist's office. So, that answers the origin of where I got the stomach flu from. But the thing I miss the most is, um, well, one, I wanted to go, uh, it's already Tuesday, but I feel like saying tomorrow because I haven't slept yet, but Tuesday I really wanted to go to see How to Train Dragon 2 with my friend Monica. I'm not going to be able to do anything which sucks because I was really looking forward to that because I really wanted to see it with someone that was like really into the first movie because I absolutely loved How to Train a Dragon, the first one. Like I just think it's like one of the most adorable movies ever. 
and it's been out for a while and I didn't know that she really liked it so I was looking forward to that but not gonna happen maybe we, I can FaceTime with her or something but um and then I don't remember what I was gonna say wow it's just like I can never really get across how just gutting it is to be sick because it sucks for normal people I mean like norm, like how I was before I was sick but like now when I get sick on top of having a chronic illness multiple chronic illnesses it's just like oh my gosh it's just too much just too much but I also at the same time feel like I'm more equipped for it because I'm like I'm already used to being sick so it's not like oh I'm stuck in bed it's like oh well I might have been stuck in bed anyways because of my chronic illness but um you know, this is like coming out of being having the stomach flu so like I've actually had some rice I had a little bit of rice and pretzels gluten-free pretzels so ask me like 24 hours ago and I would have been stabbing people because I just felt miserable but anyways ah, this is gonna make no sense whatsoever but I want to record something for you guys for the day and I don't know if I'm gonna be sleeping or how I'm gonna feel tomorrow oh. okay uh, and yeah I really feel like I had so much to talk to you guys about I was like I better get my iPad out and say these things before I go to sleep or try to go to sleep and then I, my voice is throwing me off uh, uh, the one thing that was super annoying is um, I don't know for some reason I don't know if anybody else does this but like if any pretty much if anything happens to me any type of illness yeah pretty much like anything you name it and like I just feel like I need to be in the shower I don't know why not a bath no 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 the shower and I curl up kind of like in a fetal position in the shower uh, which is kind of strange but this time because I was so sick I just kind of got into the position and there was water like coming down into my ear and it actually like got in my ear like if you were like swimming in the ocean or the pool and your ear gets clogged and you kind of just like let it out but it like stuck in there it was so annoying because my dad kept trying to talk to me and I was like huh what what are you saying I have no function of one of my ears oh it's just like when it rains it pours literally it pours into my ear <laughs> And I'm laughing at my own jokes. Okay. Well, this is already way too long. But I hope you guys are going to be paying for your stress-free day. And that you don't get the stomach flu. At all. Because this one lasts like three days. And it's awful. So, good luck with that. Stay away from me. Because I am contagious. Infectious. And let's get a puppy. Oh, who wakes her up? She's not happy. She's not happy. Come here. Oh, you're not happy about this. Oh, come here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. his hair is so crappy. That's mean. I know, that was really mean. I'm sorry. This is so adorable. I want to share it with the world. That was really mean. She re Look at her. Oh, that's, that's as mad as Bella gets. Oh, she's mad. Oh, he's just mad. Say bye. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Because I'm really grumpy. Oh, sassy Bella. Alright, I love you guys. Bye.